Only on 7, we're taking action for a Redford mother who says the county won't pay up for damages to her car from a fallen tree. She's looking at a bill right now that is more than $3,000. 7 Action News reporter Amira David is working to try to get her some help. Well, it's now just a stump, but it started as a very large tree on county land when it fell. The question of who's responsible sent one resident in this neighborhood straight to our Taking Action team. The trunk here, it won't. It won't latch. Jessica Jenkins says this has been the biggest source of stress. The Redford residents damaged car is the result of an incident that began in June when a tree across the street split in half, falling directly onto a neighbor's home. Wayne County, responsible for the tree, sent workers out to clean up the damage. And they cut it off her house and they left the logs on her grass and they said that they would be back because the rest of the tree has to come down. They did not come back fast enough, and then within three days, it fell again. This time, hitting Jenkins' car. Wayne County workers came out yet again to clean up the mess. She says they calmed her worries about the car damage. And they told me that this is their problem, that this is their responsibility. Jenkins immediately submitted estimates for a fix that would price in at over $3,000. But the county said they wouldn't foot the bill arguing workers left the tree in safe conditions and instead blamed it on inclement weather conditions. I didn't understand how could you say that the tree was fine when clearly it wasn't fine. Neighbor Nina Seeley agrees. If they had done it the first time, it would avoid the damages to her car. After several complaints, workers returned and ultimately removed the tree. But the bill for the $3,000 damage it caused remains. So our Taking Action team went looking for answers. The county declined an on-camera interview but issued a statement saying either high winds, a lightning strike, or both may have caused the trunk to split. In situations like this, the owner of the vehicle would need to make a claim with her automobile insurance carrier. I shouldn't have to pay for that on my own. And I feel I have two small children that's taking money from them. And as you heard there, the county insisting they are not liable for this. But of course, that leaves Jenkins without a working trunk on really the only car she has to shuttle around her kids. If the county won't pay, she's hoping somebody else out there can help. In Redford, Amira David, 7 Action News. Thank you, Amira. And if you are in need of help, you can call our call for action team at the number you see on your screen. That's 248-827-3362. Between the hours of 1130 and 130 on Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays.